Hi, welcome back. Ben has finished receiving treatment and the dentist has entered the item codes for today. Now it's time for me to take a payment. When taking a payment, we must first identify the treatments which require payment, and in this case it's the 012, 114 and 121. You can tell that they require payment because they say not invoiced here. There may be other treatments which are also not invoiced, but are from another date. We can take payment for these separately and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. We will start by making the claim to his health fund first. Click on create invoice at the bottom right hand side of the page. This provider should already be selected, but if it's not, just click on the name to show a drop down menu and select the provider for today's treatment. If there are any items which don't belong to today's treatment, click on the red X to exclude them. These are all today's treatments, so I won't need to do that. If you will not be taking payment today, click save at the bottom to make it an outstanding account in the patient's file. But in this case, Ben will be settling his account, so we'll click continue to payment. Make sure the terminal is correct and click on the high caps icon. If it's not correct, click on the terminal name to show a drop down menu and then select the correct name. After clicking the high caps icon, follow the prompts on the terminal. Swipe the card and wait for it to be processed. Done. The claim has been processed and the high caps terminal will print out the receipts. If Ben needs an A4 receipt, click print to print a copy for him. We can also email it directly to him, providing that his email has been saved to his file. He said he's happy with the high caps terminal receipt, so we can move ahead. After taking the payment, you can see that there is an outstanding balance. If the balance was zero, we could simply click done and that would be the end of the transaction. However, we will now have to take the gap payment, so click continue to payment. Here you can see all the methods of payment which are accepted by your employer. This is an example of what you would see on this page. Cash is for a cash payment, which is pretty straightforward. However, FPOS, MasterCard, Visa and Amex are all electronic card payments. An electronic card payment is referring to a payment which you take directly through core practice. FPOS is the option which you would select for a debit card transaction, and MasterCard, Visa and Amex are all credit card transactions. External is the option which you would select if you had taken this payment manually, but since we want to collect this electronically, we won't select external this time. Ben wants to pay the outstanding balance using his savings account. That means we'll be clicking on the FPOS option because that's a debit card. We should again double check that the terminal is correct, and it is, and then we'll click FPOS and follow the prompts on the terminal. Just like the high caps claim, swipe or insert the card and wait for it to be processed. Done. Once again, the terminal will print the receipts, but we still have the option to print an A4 copy or email it directly to the patient. So we're all done. The payments have been applied and Ben has left with his card and receipts in hand. Next up, we can learn about the treatment notes. 